Hebrews 8.12 says, He will remember our sins no more. It's actually quoting from the Old Testament. Psalm 103 also says, As far as the east is from the west, that's how far he's going to remove our transgressions from us. But have you ever thought about that from God's perspective? How does God forget stuff? Like, for you and me, forgetting comes easy. You know, I drive to the grocery store, and by the time I got there, I've already forgotten 99% of what I saw on the way. I can make that trip a hundred times and still see stuff I haven't seen before. Not because I didn't see it, because I forgot it the first 99 times. We're really good at forgetting. But I think for God, it takes a conscious effort to forget something because he's really good at remembering. One time I was asking Father about this, you know, how, how do you do this? How do you forget stuff? And I felt like he said, well, that's why we have books up here in heaven. Because if I didn't write this stuff down, I'd forget all about it. <laughs> and I thought that was funny. But God has the capability to actually forget the things that you do wrong and never remember them anymore. So I think if we're supposed to be like God, if we're called to think like him and have his kind of thoughts, we ought to learn how to do that too. So God consciously chooses not to focus on, not to remember the things that you've done wrong because he's consciously focused on what you've done well and where you're like Jesus. When he looks at you, what he sees is not your mistakes. He sees Jesus. So let's take a minute and just ask him about that. So we got two questions today. The first one is, Father, what's something that you've forgotten about that I'm still thinking about? And once you got an answer to that question, ask him the second one. So, Father, what do you want me to do with that? 